Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We are here inside historic Chicago City Hall to deliver our communique. I have with me here the deputy mayor, the former deputy mayor of New York, New Jersey. My brother, can you? Oh, yes, uh, good morning, all. Uh, good Kumokro is my name. I'm the former deputy mayor of the city of New York, New Jersey. And we've gathered here today, at, uh, like my brother said, the historic uh, Chicago City Hall to ask some personal questions, you know? So the naysayers, the captains are saying that uh, this issue has been uh, addressed, but we uh, notice some other things that have not been addressed, some other issues. So we are here to ask questions. And this is non-partisan, non-ethnic, just Nigerians that are concerned about the image of Nigeria. Thank you. I also have- Thank you, Mayor. I will also have with me here, uh, engineer, Nandi Uzo, engineer Nandi Uzo, can you please talk to the uh, Because this is an hybrid. We have people on the ground, and a lot of people, journalists, they are online. So they are listening to this. Engineer Uzo, please. Yes, uh, my name is Nandi Uzo. We come from Nigeria, resident here in Chicago. Um, we're here to ask questions. Um, personally, I'm not here to, find, to blame any particular individual. But I'm here because I'm a Nigerian, and the and what's been going on affects me as a person. It affects me, my my family here. If the story that the person that we put into office um, is guilty of forge, forging his certificate, we want to know. If he's not guilty of forging his certificate, we want to know. We want the American government to look deeper into it and explain it to us, because whatever the outcome is. It affects me, it affects my generation here, it affects the hard work we're doing in this country. Everybody becomes a suspect. I do not want to walk around Chicago with people looking at me from the corner of their eyes, suspecting everything I say or documents that I present. So that's why we are here, to get more clarification as per the papers that uh, our President Tinibu presented, is it a real document or is it a forged document? The issue of the social security, does it, social security number, does it belong to him or does it not? We're asking questions. We are not convicting anybody, but we want more clarification so that the world will not judge every Nigerian that they see by the act of one individual. Thank you, Brother Uzo. I also have with me here, uh, Brother Becky. Becky Eddie, okay. Becky Eddie, Chief Eddie Becky. He's also here with me as a concerned citizen and is part of this World Press Conference inside the historic Chicago City Hall. Just briefly. Good morning to everyone. My name is Ed Chimezie Beke. As everybody has said, we are here to ask questions, to know the truth because of this present generation and the future generation. As uh, my people say, the truth is the foundation of anything one does, and the truth must be told, and the truth must prevail. We are here to find the truth about whether the certificate was forged or not. Thank you. Also, I have, I have with me here um, um, engineer Femi Ulukoya. He's a journalist. Adi Koya, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, and in Afemi, Adekoya, you will see that this is an evil affair. I mean, Yoruba, we have Yoruba, we have people, we have somebody from uh, the middle bed here. So we are all here to present our case. At this point, we are, I'm not going to read our communique so that the press can, um, can capture it and then we can put it out there. As you all know, I said, my name is David Adeneko. I'm the public secretary in the United States. <clears throat> we seek with ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the press, all other protocol duly observed. The National Democratic Coalition, NADECO USA, is Nigerian premier and foremost pro democracy group based in Washington, D.C., USA. The group is committed to deepening sustainable democracy, the rule of law, good governance, electoral accountability 
and transparency in Nigeria. On February 25, 2023, Nigeria had a presidential election which was made by several irregularities. Aside these obvious flaws that were clearly roundly condemned by local and international observers, there were so many procedural issues. Preeminent among them is the question of the university diploma that was submitted to the electoral body, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, by the candidate of the ruling party, all progressive Congress, Mr. Bola Anechinumbu, who now sits as the president of Nigeria. Chicago State University, CSU, in response to a deposition, query stated that the diploma Mr. Tinubu submitted to INEC was not issued by them. At the same time, Chicago State University alleged that President Bola Amir Tinubu actually graduated from the school and presented a transcript of result purporting to be that of President Bola A. Tinubu. If so, who issued the diploma? And where did Mr. Tinubu obtain the diploma from? Again, if so, who issued the diploma? And where did Mr. Tinubu obtain the diploma from? Why did Chicago State University not issue a diploma certificate to a student? The school claim graduated from Chicago State University. Could Chicago State University have issued a certificate to a student who has not met or satisfied the required credit for graduation? The Nigeria people would like an answer to the question above because the authenticity of the diploma has thrown Nigeria into a, politi into, into a political up ever, ever since the conclusion of the election. Furthermore, the Nigeria people and Nadeko USA would like clarification on the following. Based on the pertinent portions of the transcript obtained during the deposition of Chicago State University Registrar, Mr. Weber, the university authority admitted that the Bola A. Tinubu with social security number 231 I repeat, social security number 231 060595, who attended Chicago State University had completed a total of 105 credit hours and needed to have and needed to have completed an additional 15 credit hours in order to graduate. Those classes included but were not limited to English 222 and mathematics. So, number two, so did Bola A. Tinumbu eventually complete those 15 credit hours? And if he did, when did he take them? Additionally, transfer from, from Southwest College that enabled Mr. Tinubu to gain admission as a transfer student via a social security number different from Mr. Tinubu's social security number. I want to pause there before I continue. In the United States, you can only have one social security number, and that is your identity. That is your identity. If you have two social security numbers, there is a problem with that. Additionally, the transcript for that show that the gender of the applicant was female, whereas Mr. Tinumbu, who supposedly graduated from Chicago State University, is a male. All these depositions were under hold by Chicago State University. Three, again, the gender of the transfer student was stated as that of a female, and therefore, it has become necessary to clarify why it is so upon graduation. The gender has changed to male. Mr. Tinubu seemed to be associated with two social security numbers. Two social security numbers. The Chicago State University should explain why it has to social security number. As if that was not confu confusing enough, it has been confirmed that one of the social security number 23106595, originally issued in the state of Virginia, is currently being used by someone else, a female. Now, therefore, they have to demand the following. One, 
the Board of Trustees of Chicago State University, CSU, to thoroughly investigate the, the, the bizarre circumstances regarding the issue raised above. B, that the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation, heavy hand, to also initiate an investigation regarding the same concern raised above. C, we should also like a clarification from the FBI about a letter making the round that, purpose, that purports to have been issued by the FBI in response to Nigeria Economy and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, inquiry as to whether Mr. Tinubu attended Chicago State University, ESU. According to the letter from the FBI office, Mr. Tinubu did neither attend nor, did neither attend nor graduated from Chicago State University. Can you reconcile the Chicago State University position that Mr. Tinubu attended Chicago State University versus which state that he did not? EFTC wrote a letter to FBI to confirm whether Mr. President, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, did attend Chicago State University. And FBI in a letter that the sent by or reply to EFCC said that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu did not attend or graduate from Chicago State University. Now, there is, there is a contrary opinion. Chicago State University on that who said he graduated, that he has it, that he attended the school. FBI said, no. So we need to reconcile these two facts. B. Nadeko USA would like the FBI to find out if the Tatunumbu had in the past several years made any donation to Chicago State University directly or to third parties. This question is important to the extent that we, we would like to know if there was some monetary or other inducement made to Chicago State University aimed at securing certain privileges from Chicago State University. We need to clear the air. We need to clear the air because our president lives in Chicago. So we need to clear the air. We want to know the real identity of the person that is sitting in Asoga right now. E, and the USA will also like the FBI and the Social Security Administration to determine how a social security number belonging to another person began to be used by Mr. Chinumbu. The issue is whether it is a matter of identity theft or was the original owner of the number aware that a social security number was being used by another person. Again, social security number 231-06-0595 is not President Chinumbu's. What is the true social security number and what was his name what his name is it under? We want to know. We want to know because you can only have one social security number. And the social security number that Chicago State University submitted as exhibit when they were making their deposition in court under oath was this social security number. But we have discovered that this social security number belonged to a lady in the state of Virginia established. Now, what is the social security number of President Bola Ahmed Inumbu? F, who actually owns the social security number 2310695, written on the transit that the Chicago State University Registrar used as an exhibit that was attached to the deposition given under oath? G, we are citizens of Nigeria from all over the world. We are asking and requesting the United States, United States University Accreditation Body and Chicago State University Board of Trustees to look into this matter in order to clear the good reputation of Chicago State University. Nadeko USA is committed to the struggle to save Nigeria from corrupt and bad leaders. We therefore seek your cooperation to help Nigeria do a thorough and complete background check on Mr. Ebola, Tinumbu, and Enigma that has consistently fought to hide its true identity. 
The world needs to know why President Bola A. Tinubu habitually goes to court to stop the release of his document if he does not have anything to hide. Since Tinubu is now the president of Nigeria, it is the interest of Nigeria, national security, and global security for the world to make sure that the man who presides over the affairs of the biggest democracy and economy in Africa is not a criminal. I don't want a criminal to be my president. Neither do you want the criminal to be your president. Do you want the criminal to be your president? The press call? Nobody wants. Nobody wants. America, another part of the of, of another part of the developed world. As an American voters and firm believers in democracy, we are appealing to our elected officials to take this issue serious, to protect democracy in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Henceforth, Nigerian American voters. We'll be looking at candidates' records and respond to Nigerian issues before we cast our vote. We are no longer going to be voting on one side seats of voting. Candidates must end our vote before we get there. Yes, now we are wiser. Candidates, we that we are Americans, when we cast our vote for elected officers in America, we want to make sure that they also protect our interests. Now, Okay, now um, we are going to move to the next section, which is questions. And um, um, the deputy mayor, the former deputy mayor, will be the one that will handle the question section. Like I said earlier, this world, this world press conference is hybrid. A lot of journalists, they are online, on Twitter, Instagram, Zoom, yeah. they are listening to us, they are watching this. So if it's you have questions, my brother right here is going to handle Twitter, he's going to handle Instagram, he will ask what that question. Oh. We only have 10 minutes section for questions. May you over to you, sir. Thank Copies. you very much. Yes, mm. ladies and gentlemen of the press, uh, it is not the issue of whether uh, oh, president has <laughs> certificates. Okay. 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 That has been established, that has been established from the, oh, the position. Wow. That's been established from oh, the position. Wow. Okay. So the Come question on. there is yeah. on, the there are issues that have been manated that have brought about today. Issues like the social security number that we're talking about. So these are the issues that we are here to ask questions to find out. Give us answers to those. Because we as uh, Americans, we know that nobody can use no individual has two social security numbers. You see, folks, if it looks like a dog walks like a dog and walks like a dog. It's likely to be a dog. So the reason why we're here today is if you follow that dog to the animal farm, okay, and assume that all the animals in that in the farm are all dogs, then you're making a mistake. So here we are in a situation whereby the symbol of Nigerian government, the symbol of Nigerian democracy is accused or alleged, not even alleged, has been found to have forged certificate. So now it's normal that people around the world will assume that every Nigerian is a forger. So <laughs> the fact, like I said, if you follow that dog to the, to the animal farm, does not mean that all the animals in the farm are dogs. So that is why we are here. And uh, uh, we oblige any questions that any uh, member of the press, you know, would have. We try to we'll address it. Otherwise, we can also go online. Thank you very much for your time, and we are ready to take your questions. Um, I've got a question here from Nigeria and uh, society. Come on, Um, question goes: What is the last step if the Supreme Court judges fail to deliver justice in Nigeria? What will be the mandate? Whose death will stay? That's the first question. Well, um. You know, Nadeko is an organization that follows laws and order. We are still we are still waiting for the Supreme Court to give their verdict. But the Constitution tells us clearly that when you submit a false information under oath to contest an election, that is fellow, that is automatic disqualification. So we already know what the Constitution says, but. The law says that the judiciary will interpret the constitution. Right. So let the, let the Supreme Court interpret the constitution, but they better interpret that constitution based on what is in the constitution. 
So we are not going to preempt. We are waiting for the Supreme Court to give their verdict. We assume they are competent. So we are yeah. waiting for them to do the right thing, to rule as appropriate. Uh, next question, please. I don't want to so we have yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you know, we are. So this, we will not get the out of formal requests to the FBI Chicago to start a probe. Yes. Yeah. You see, the, you see the, we, already, we already put it in, in community. In fact, when we leave here, we are going to the regional office of FBI to, be, to deliver this community. And we are also going to send it to them online electronically. electronically. So, yes, that's what we are doing. We are going to deliver it to the FBI general office. And not just the FBI, the Social Security Administration is also going to get a copy of, a copy of this because we want confirmation, we want clarification on the Social Security number. That's 23106059. So we wanted to actually tell us who owns that. It's very important. It's very critical. Thank you. Next question, please. Next question. How do you feel? How do you see? All this reflecting on the rest of Nigerians in the diaspora, that, especially here in America. That is a very good question. That is a very good question. And that again brings the reason why we must do this. At least the world now knows that Nigerians in the diaspora are not just sitting idle, they are crying out, they are shouting. So, whether the authorities, whether it's American authorities, they do the right thing, or the Nigerian Supreme Court, or whatever, they do the right thing. It's not about, I mean, we've done the most we can, which is bring light to this issue, which is to let the world know that we are not in support of this. Let the world know that all of us are not forgers. All of us are not certificate forgers or scammers or whatever. So that's the most we can do. What, are the, what the authorities do in Nigeria is on them. And what the Americans do, well, as American voters, how it's going to reflect on our American elected voters is this. Oh, by the way, there's going to be an online petition that will be circulated after this event, where we employ every Nigerian, whether in the diaspora or in Nigeria, because this issue affects every Nigerian, to go sign in, sign your name. So with that petition, we're going to show it to all our elected officials. Like the, 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 the press release says, it is no longer vote one side fits all kind of voting. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to look at candidates, our elected officials, how they handle the issues of Nigeria, the issues of Africa. And then that will determine how we're going to vote. And, and to add to that, we have to also look at the moral burden of this on Nigerians in diaspora, particularly our, our professionals. Just a few days or a few weeks ago, some nurses in England and in the United States, they have to prove their credentials. Why? Because it flows from the head. That's right. So they don't even trust us. That is why we must get to the nitty gritty of this. And we must clear the air on this and to make sure that our president, Mr. Bola Ahmed Nubu, is not a criminal. Next question. Can you please can you please we love to hear your name very well? Say it with your name because that name is important in this. So that they will know that they will be saying it's sectional. Can you, can you hear your name louder, please? My name is Jimmy. I'm a Nigerian. I'm Jimmy what? Adeji. That's a Yoruba man. Okay. Okay. Jimmy Adeji is going to be asking the next question. Why? I'm going to be doing this one day for the previous world wide when they've got a lot of questions here. So I'm just going to bring it about one after um, the other. So another question stated says, um, is the governor of Illinois aware of what is going on as well as the um, state attorney? After today, they will be aware. Because, because uh, what happened, this is this is what happened there. Eh? Because uh, during the law, the lawsuit that Atiku instituted against CSU to produce uh, uh, the necessary documents, he was constrained by time. So what he did, he wanted that judgment to show that uh, now President Tinubu forged his certificate. So now he has proven that. Okay? So, but nobody publicized it. Nobody made the government of the people here in Chicago, here in Illinois, and here in the United States to know what is going on. This is the essence of this World Press Conference. So they're all going to know all these things now. Thank you. And that is why we call it World Press Conference. We've got Nigeria, 
They are all over the world. The world must know about it. They want to know who is their president. Go ahead. Can I ask something, please? That affirms that Tinubu actually went to their school sites. Um, the one presented at the presentation. None that we know. Of. None that we know. So that's why we're asking these questions now, so that we can authenticate all that. We're going to allow somebody online on Zoom. You want to ask question? Go ahead and ask your question. We are here. We are listening. I'm sorry about that. Go ahead. Can you speak? Can you speak louder? Yeah, speak up, please. Speak up. Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. All right, all right, thank you very much. The question is, is there a system in Nigeria to authenticate certificates? Because he's suspecting there might be more uh, Tinubus that are out there. So that it might not just be Tinubu. Uh, my brother, unfortunately, we in the diaspora can answer that question, but I think we're going to note it. It's going to be part of... Uh, a part of this question that we're going to throw to the to the press in Nigeria, but uh, but it brought about something that is very important. You know why? If you if you want to hire somebody for a job, you want to look at the qualification. Okay, you want to look at the background of the individual. Ordinary here in the United States, if you're doing a security job, they want to know everything about you. They want to know your criminal background. They want to do everything. So it's it's it's, uh, it's appropriate that Nigeria does a thorough job on who is the president, a whole exalted office of, of the presidency of Nigeria. So we need to know who will be signing our big check. It's very important. If somebody is mainly accused of being a forger or being a scammer, he or she shouldn't even be near that. It is a national security issue, folks. It's not just an issue of uh, one man. I care less, you know, who Mr. Tinubu is, if he's not a private, if he's not the president of Nigeria, if he's a private citizen, that is fine. But is the, the, the is the duty of every Nigerian to demand and require that the president of Nigeria has the right credentials? And forgery is not a is not an easy thing. We're going to take one more question from uh, from from the Zoom link. JJ, mm -hmm. quiet and answer. Can you speak louder, please? JJ. Yeah. Uh, uh, good evening. Can good you speak evening, louder, uh, please? Uh, thank you. Yeah, can you hear me? If yes, I'm we hear you. Okay. can hear you. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. My name is JJ, and I am actually uh, zooming from um, Nuremberg in Germany. Uh, I thank you all for, for the opportunity. Um, there was an indictment yesterday uh, from Arise News uh, Television where they were having an, in, an, an interview with uh, Sam Amadi about the civil, civil society being a little bit lukewarm in the present situation going on in Nigeria. I just want us to uh, have a little flashback. Pre-1998, Nadeko... Can you just ask Afeni a question, please? Question time, please. Question, please. One minute. Thank you, sir. Okay. Oh. Okay, sir. So I just want to ask, is it Possible as a civil society, Nadeko, uh, Ohaneze, and other can we be able to form a formidable group structure that can be able to at least champion the cause of what we are fighting against? Because it is uh, we against them. 
not minding who and where they come from as political entities and against us all the ordinary nigerians home and abroad who is fighting against them that is my first can we be right. able for to form form a, a united formidable that Thank is you. able to Thank present you, our, can, our you can, you, can you answer that question right. I, the, I'll, I'll, I'll the, okay the question is uh uh with uh Kanadeko and all the other organizations like you mentioned or had is there can they form a formidable organization to make sure that uh uh, uh the uh Institutions in Nigeria do what they're supposed to do. Uh, my brother, I think we uh, we have enough organizations already in Nigeria. It's not about forming a new one. All we need to do is start getting those organizations functional, getting them accountable, getting them to do what they're supposed to do, just like Nadeko is doing here. If all the others would do what they're supposed to do, you know, we will not have any problem. But it's just that it's easy for the for the members of those organizations to be so compromised. And that is the problem we have. And that is why Nadeko has stood, you know, uh, uh, at the very highest team. Because Nadeko, you or that, Nadeko is still forging ahead. He's still fighting. So so I think uh, what, what we're going to ask you is uh, support the ones that are there, especially Nadeko. Like I said, there's going to be, Nadeko is going to be sending out uh, online signature. For Nigerians all over the world to sign in your signature condemning what is happening in Nigeria. Okay? And then while you're there, uh, is, this is my personal appeal. By the way, I'm not a member of Nadeko, but I know if you're there, give support. It takes money for these things to, to, to function. So support Nadeko for any way you can. Okay? So that let, is. Uh, let me just add to that quickly. Um, you know, there's a, ne there's a news, you know, going around there that. Uh, Nadeko is fake. Let me give you, let me tell you this. Nadeko is registered, incorporated in the United States. How will an association that is incorporated register for, for years for years be fake? <laughs> so so that's why because they are getting the heat. They are getting the heat. And we are building up the synergy. See, this is a new that Nadeko. And I'm just gonna let you know and let you and Skaba know. Is going to be a new dawn. And Nadeko is not God evil. God bless you. God bless you sir, for saying that word. I'm not God evil. God bless you. My name is Adeneko. This guy is not evil. This is Adekoya. This is not an evil affair. This is Nigerian affair. So they should get it. It's not fake. Okay. I don't have a question from the audience. Sir. I don't have a question from the audience. Question. A close up. I found it hard to believe that the CHC. Uh, what's now the other junior college, which are daily college, college uh -huh. does not have a short ID of a student that they are admitted into the school. That would be possible. Uh, even I, in fact, I would think that to see exactly who okay. the original student is at the daily college. Forget about CS to be. Let's go to the source and then move forward. That's right. Unfortunately, we as individuals can. That's why we need the FBI and we need the authorities to help us do that. So they are going to help us dig. Again, this is the essence of this and the essence of, of the online signatures. Please, as again, I, I'll continue to emphasize on that. When you see that online uh, drive for signatures, please sign. Sign all your children, sign every Nigerian, because this involves every Nigerian. Let up, I, I, I mean, encourage, I didn't say sign anybody, but I just said encourage them to go and sign. Okay, so we don't want to encourage any kind of forgery, whether it's for you, gentlemen. Added. Gentlemen, so, as so please, so uh, it's very important. So do that, do that, uh, uh, gentlemen of the clubs. Um, we have um, we have about five minutes, seven minutes to round up this event. So we have two or three from the audience. Briefly, one minute, one minute, one minute, maybe two here, and then we're going to hand it off. Okay, so okay, yeah, I think I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. So up from one of the first. Is there anything that the cook can do to solidify all this other organization, bring their themselves together, channel all this problem towards the own power of the organization? If you look at the economy, our voice will be fired. When if you look at the economy, 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 coalition is a coalition of organization. So what we know, what we just need to do now is to improve the synergy, okay. and we are working towards that. You know, they used, they were saying before that Nadeko is Igbo. 
Now they've changed the narrative. So Nadeko is Igbo, then Nadeko is fake. Am I Igbo? Do I look like Igbo? Look at my my Abesi Aja. A Yoruba man to the poor. A man from Ijesha. A man from Eta. They cannot beat it. They are in trouble. I look at that. So do I look Igbo? Am I Igbo? Is my brother a Igbo? Is my brother a journalist Igbo? So next question. Yeah, no, hold on. Let me just add to what he just said. I'm on the strength of their effort by Nadeko to bring Nigerians from all parts of world, other organizations. I am not a member of Nadeko. I belong to other organizations. As a, as a matter of fact, I'm actually the founder of African Diaspora for Good Governance. So it's on the strength of that that, I, that I'm here working with Nadeko. So Nadeko is taking the leadership. So it is not, Nadeko is doing that. And we also have a forum on WhatsApp where I noticed there are members from all parts of uh, Nigerian diaspora organizations. Okay? Um, I'm going to invite uh, engineer Femi Ulukoye. He's a journalist. Um, he will tell us his media outlets, and he will use that opportunity to talk for us just for one and a half minutes. One and a half minutes. Okay. He can come. One and a half minutes. Come, come right. Introduce yourself, where you are from, and your, your, uh, your online output, your, your TVRT. Right. Yeah, good morning, Nigerians. Good morning. My name is Adi Omadi Omobankole Olufemi Adepoya from Nigeria. Um, I have a word just for Nigerians because we are talking about which way forward. That is what all this is all about. And it's to say that it has to be said. The truth has to be called out. A lot of inconsistencies has been, has been shrouding President Tinubu, but do we blame Tinumbu? No. I blame the Nigerian masses that voted for Tinumbu. But did they vote did for they vote for no. him? No. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that Question. what I'm trying to say is that the system yeah. itself you blame, you blame the system, but right. I'm seeing yeah. the majority of the masses brought Tinumbu. I'm not vote, I'm not saying what they did is good. So the masses but did not. What I'm, saying, what I'm saying is that everybody in Nigeria has to be on the lookout. For the kind of president, anybody who is going to hold an elective office, we must check them from the grassroots to wherever they are, so that this kind of ula balu that we find ourselves in, we will not find it again. If we look at the song uh, Black Panther that sang, 200 million mumu, we all participated, we all added to the problem we have. And Tinubu is just a bad, very bad example. And this is the last thing I want to say. Tinubu, with all due respect, to resign and leave the presidency. A criminal cannot wash criminal out of the country. I am saying that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then from, from Twitter, so a question from Twitter. My hand is up. The question was certificate. And uh, I, I read it from the representative of CAC himself, personally, in the court. Right. He said he didn't have a record of TV ports, whatever. They don't have a record of his passport. They don't have a record of his drugs license. Social security. They don't even have a record of his birth certificate. They don't have a record of how he paid the school fees. He paid everything into the car. But they claim he went there as well. I was in the court, live and direct, right in front of the judge. And that was said. So uh, I just had to put that to what you know, the way you brought up the then the last question someone just asked me out the person said, What is Nadeb going to say about the recent um message regarding discrediting the fact that what the deposition said was different from what they said and uh, is Nadeb looking at having uh, CNN to be a BBC international partner where he would ask questions with the likes of um, uh, I don't know, uh, the top CNN, CNN representative regarding what is going on in Nigeria? People believe in this kind of energy, the message he could pass across the whole world. That's the question. Yeah, let me just say something about that. You know, you know we are dealing with a money bag. And he believes that he can buy anybody. And I want to quote Babade Banjo, and I'm quoting correctly. Eh? Meaning that 
anything that money cannot do, it doesn't exist. He has that money. I already saw Tinubu's hand in City Hall, but we have wisdom and knowledge. We are working towards that. The world we know, and like just my brother have said, if we, are, if, if, if we establish that Tinubu did not graduate from CSU and he submitted a forged certificate, Nadeko is going to come out strongly that Tinubu should resign. So we are still carrying out our investigation. You want to ask something? Yes, and also the BBC stuff that you, you talked about, yeah. it's been discredited. Yeah. So it's been discredited because the journalists who question that Nigeria, like my brother said, yeah, yeah. That, uh, that they did a hack job for you know who. So there's no credibility to that. And I think uh, the BBC on their own is conducting a, a serious investigation. And, it, and that is not a mainstream BBC. It's not a mainstream BBC. Okay, yeah, Tinubu can buy anybody. He has that money, but he cannot buy us. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Citizens, let's not request for his resignation because if he resigns, let's just um, request for his removal of his Nigerian will decide that. Yeah, once more, my name is Nandi also. I'm here representing the Nigerian indigenous here in Chicago. Our quest is not to convict Tinibu. Our quest for my own part, is for the sake of us Nigerians here in Chicago. Because it seems like this bad blood or bad press is rubbing up negatively on us. So we need that clarification. Nigerians cannot, for just one, one individual, decide to sacrifice about 25,000 people living in Illinois. We are asking that question. Let that answer come out. If it's clear, then for his own good. If it's not clear, then he should vacate that office. Because Nigeria will exist long after Tinibu. Nigeria will exist long after you and I. So the question we're asking now is a question that affects over 200 million individuals, especially the ones that live in the United States. Because we want, we we don't want that to be and they give them that we have questions. And we have such big questions. And we have qualifications. We work hard for what we do in this country. We've earned it. You have doctors, you have engineers, you have uh, uh, caretakers, nurses, you have business owners that are very legal in what they do. And government officials, yeah. And government officials. We have our children that are coming up, that are participating in, a, in the mainstream America. If we do not clarify this question, that stigma will run with everybody. And that would be wrong. So regardless of what your interest is, regardless of what political party you feel you belong to, regardless of uh, what immediate gratification you think you can get from any individual, we must clear this question. Because in one way or the other, it will affect each and every one of us if it's, if it's not clear. So let that, let that aspect clear for now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, we are going to round up now because the Sergeant of Hams is already telling us that our time is almost over. Right. But before I round up, I'll just take one more question from the Zoom. Just one. And that will be just one. That will be um, um, Lifa Enebele. Oh, Lifa thank Enebele. you. Thank yeah, you so much. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, can you very speak well, up? Very well. Yeah. Can you yes, speak yes. Up? Yes, um, sorry, I took my ear off. Can you hear me now? Is that louder? Yeah, 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 very well, yeah. Okay, yeah. so Loud my question yeah. is this there are ongoing efforts by Nigerians in diaspora in different locations across the world. What is Nadeko doing to support these efforts that we are doing at our protests and rallies, as we've seen? Small pockets of um, of resistance that we're doing internationally. So, how is Nadeko going to help us? Um, use their background to add more voice to what we are doing. Thank you. Yeah, well, you know, you know may I just talk about the petition now? I mean, through the petition. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay, so I think the best thing to do, you know, is uh, what we are doing now, so is uh, we're doing a signature drive, okay? Which Nadeko is heading. So we are encouraging, it's not just for those in uh, the diaspora Nigerians in the United States, but Nigerians all over the world, because this image affects 
us, every Nigerian. So you're going to go to Nadeko website. You're going to get a link to that, to that uh, signature drive. And please encourage every Nigerian and every lover of Nigeria to sign that petition. That will go a long way to make a serious statement. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, again, right now we are in, inside the historic Chicago City Hall as the sunny third floor lobby. This is historic. I don't think any uh, democratic organization in Nigeria has ever done this. Even though they did everything to stop it, but you cannot stop an idea whose time has come. Um, and also, we are going to give the city council and the mayor's office a copy of this uh, press uh, thing that we just uh, press release that we just gave here. Yeah, and and not only that, I also want to I want to want to say this that the executive director of Nadeko, Lord Uku, would have been here, but um, due to circumstances beyond his control. At the airport, you couldn't make it, but it's here with us in spirit and in soul. Um, the 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 it's part, actually on his way coming, but it's, it's going to arrive here after. after, after, after. after. We might be going together to CSU, Chicago State University, FBI, and uh, Social Security Office to deliver our communique. The communique now is now it's now official. It's open. It's going to be online. It's going to be everywhere, and we are waiting for their response before we take our next action. So members of the press corps and gentlemen of the press, please, friends, one minute. Constance, <laughs> we now come to the end. One we minute to the end of our press can, we, can we have a little conference. input from, from, from Zoom, please? One minute before you wrap up, please. Thank you. Thank you. Please, one minute before you wrap up. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody, for attending. One God bless us. Up. God bless. God bless United States, United States of America for giving us this opportunity to light up democracy in the historic Chicago City Hall. And God Can bless Nigeria. Me? Thank you. Can you hear me? One minute before you wrap up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, there's a question on your chat. Uh, there's a question on your chat. I'm calling from United Kingdom, Manchester. Well, we, well, uh, it's, it's, it's really it's it's said, uh, this, we, we have to leave. Yeah, he said, what will be the next line of action if the Supreme Court 